Let's see here. Hold on. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. The quick draw tools we were talking about. So if I Google quick draw tools. What am I doing here? So if I go to quick draw tools right here, um, then it's quickdrawtools.com. Uh, this is run by Jeremy Shapiro. This is Jeremy Shapiro right here. He does automotive. He does flat class. He, um, he makes things. He's like a, a, an entrepreneur and, a, and an inventor. Um, pretty awesome stuff. So he, uh, this is a new tool belt Marina for Marine and auto, which is kind of cool. Um, and then he's had the quick draw, the tool belt, the evolution tool belt. This is like the, been like the go-to tool belt for um for flat glass guys it's a phenomenal phenomenal tool belt um you know you get the, you get like this uh paper towel holder um packets like all these all these little belt loops and things like that it's really really amazing stuff let me see if we can show another picture see so there you go um inserts for your um for your different tools and pouches and squeegees let's see here blade eaters uh, it looks like there's some covers for it. Oh, it comes in blue too. That's cool. Oh, see, I would definitely dig on the blue, but I mean, look, you got all kinds of different colors. Oh, I know Martin Fowler would love that one. Martin, what'd you think about that, baby? That one's sweet. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is this quick draw tool. But this is for flat glass. Um, couple hundred dollars. I think it's worth it. You know, the, uh, the dirty pouch is like 150. Absolutely worth it, I think. Um, so this is the new belt, Marine and Auto. You guys want to check it out? What do you guys think? Let's let's take a look. Hold on. Oh, you know what the quite you know what the thing is though? I'm totally <gasps> nope. This is this is this is under fair use. So my concern is do I, if I play this YouTube video, am I going to be popped for for um for um what's the word I'm looking for? Copyright infringement, right? Because I'm showing someone's video that's not my video. Actually, within the within the laws and the rules of fair use, um, as as long as I'm reacting to the video, that's considered okay, and I can do that. I just can't take the video and reconstruct it in a way, um, or re re react it in a way, uh, in a certain way. Just trust me. Let's watch this. There's no audio. Hi, I'm Jeremy Shapiro with Quick Draw Tools. Now I'd like to show you another type of setup with our customizable tool belt. This setup can be used for trades such as auto window tinting or marine window tinting. The reason why is because there's no metal exposed. If you had metal exposed, you like could that. cause damage to the vehicle or the boat. So in this case, all the metal will be held inside of the material. First of all, we have a bottle holster. In marine window tinning and auto tinning, you would use most likely a spray bottle. So we have a holster for that spray bottle. That will keep it in perfect position for you to always use it. The spray bottle can be on any side. It can be moved around. If you're left-handed, like me, you'd keep it on the left. If you're right-handed, you would just simply move that over to the right. This is our multi-use pouch. The multi-use pouch can be used for many things. In this case, for what I'd be using it for, I'd be using it for window tinting. So for me, I have my alpha knife in a slot. I have my snapper box in a slot. I have cool. my hard card holster. And then both of my squeegees will actually fit down into the material. So no metal is exposed and you can always keep it hidden from the vehicle or the boat. Just to show you one of the features that will work great for you in auto tinning is gonna be our snapper box. The snapper box has a design to it where it's large enough to accommodate the one inch blades that you would use on your jobs. Those blades are both dangerous Ooh, for you that's smart. and also I for did, your customers. I never really vehicle. thought about that. So okay, so that's pretty good, right? Because um, the, the little breaker box that I have is like, it's only for Ulfa blades and that's from Ulfa itself. I think he makes these, I think he manufactures these, but that's a really good idea is that like, it can house the one inch razor blades. Cause what do I just like fucking throw them in the trash or something like that. But you can't be doing that shit if you're on location in someone's garage for automotive, or if you're working on someone's yacht. So that's definitely, definitely a thing here. So, uh, that's really good. Keep going. Let's go. So you can actually put the blade down through the slot. It's held in the magnet, so it's going to be safe. You don't have to worry about it, both again for you and their vehicle. Another feature about all of our tool belts that I'd like to show you is how you would customize them. 
basically there's a strap that holds the pouch nice and firm. Okay, see, and that's another thing I like about these pouches. These the the, the Jeremy Shapiro does is there, there, there's it's not like one size fits all. It's not like this is my this is my belt. If it doesn't, if you don't like it, fuck off, right? Like you can maneuver all kinds of things. If you don't, I don't use a spray bottle, so I wouldn't get that pouch. Um, but you can easily uh, attach a carabiner to the belt, and you're good to go um, for for a sprayer. But like you can you can maneuver this. If you're left-handed, move the shit to your left side. If you're right-handed, move the shit to your right side. You can you can get as many pouches as you want or as few pouches as you want so um that's uh, it's kind of like one of the ingenious things that he does about this so much respect to him on this um let's keep going and you can actually just take it off everything is velcro every part that we have is basically like a velcro strap those velcro straps go into a slot that's held open so those slots are held open by how we sew the material you simply put it down into the slot you take the strap the strap goes around the back and you now have a belt that works exactly for you, tailor-made. Okay, first of all, you guys are hilarious. He says he looks like a mini Martin Fowler. Uh, I, you guys clearly don't know Martin Fowler. Martin Fowler is only like five foot one. <laughs> Jeremy Shapiro is like damn near six foot and stocky. So it would be reverse. It would definitely be Martin Fowler, <laughs> like the mini me version. <laughs> uh. Oh, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Thunderdome, motherfucker. Well, wait a minute. He was doing holding guns. Maybe he's not so many. <laughs> Martin holds guns. Uh, Savannah, welcome, welcome to the to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. So, how do you, uh, so how do you charge for this job? How did you charge for this job, Justin? I charged uh, seven dollars a square foot. It was fifty square feet. Charged three hundred and fifty dollars. So much it was. In this case, I use a few different types of pouches. So I have my multi-use pouch for my different tools. I have my bottle pouch, and I would use some scrubby pads. So I actually have another pouch here on the right where I would keep my scrubby pads. My alpha pack is held here. My keys are held in the back. There are some open slots. There's some places to be able to add different types of tools if you want. We have a two inch clip to keep it nice and I comfortable. Like that clip. The belt is one size fits all. There's plenty of material, no matter what size you are, this belt will fit you. So now you can see how customizable our tool belts are. They're 100% American made. You can find us on Facebook, look up Quick Draw Tools or quickdrawtools.com on the internet. Thanks so much for your time. I hope you enjoy. Uh, fair warning, just to let everyone know, this is not a paid advertising. Like uh shapiro doesn't know like i was just gonna pop his shit up and just play it whatever um so don't think that there's like some underlying thing about this so i i'm not associated with jeremy shapiro or his belts or anything else like that i just i find them really interesting and i think they're really uh they're a really good quality brand i like quality brand stuff like the dirty pouch is like the ferrari of automotive pouches you know shapiro stuff they're like the ferrari of like of tool pouches i like i like stuff like that i don't like the 13 pocket generic um tool belt i don't like that thing i don't like that thing at all so uh camera angle <laughs> That nah, camera angle. You can change camera angle all day long, but all you need to do is put the camera just a few inches below your eyes, and then you look bigger. You know, you bring the camera a couple inches above your eyes, then you look tiny. <laughs> yeah, quick shade window tinting. I would have swore he was six foot. Yeah, no, he's all he's all five foot one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really five foot one. I don't know. I mean, he's pretty short though. <laughs> I don't know. He's not that short. He's not that short. Um, okay, so that was a good video there. Um, does he have a video for this for the flat glass? Considering this is a flat glass video, let's see here. He does. You want to check it out? Screw it, let's do it. Evolution tool belt. Again, this is for flat glass. This is our evolution tool belt. It's evolved over the years. This is our most updated version. This is set up for a window tinner. If you're not a window tinner, there may be some parts that you don't need, which would be like a paper towel holder or this box. But for window tinners, this is a scraper that we all use. So this is called a Triumph scraper. It's in here in this. I'm assuming when he says window tinners, he means flat class tinners, so. Safety position, because when you use the scraper, 
The cap will stay in the safety position. You do your job with scraping the window, and then the scraper goes back into a safety position, never leaving the scraper with the cap exposed where you can cut yourself and get injured. You can clip things on like tape measures anywhere on the belt, so it's very comfortable and it's gonna be sturdy. We also have some straps that you can add and you can clip those on different places throughout the belt. So when I'm not using tape, I may put it here. When I need the tape, sometimes I may put it you know, on the front of the belt. It just makes it easy to... A uh, side note to whoever's editing uh, uh, Shapiro's videos, the, the background music with headphones on is way too loud. You need to bring that shit down to like 30, negative 30 dB and keep the audio around seven and a half to five, negative seven and a half to negative five dB so that the audio is louder than the background music and not flooded out. Just saying, fair warning. Access the tape when you need it. This, of course, is our paper towel dispenser. It comes with a sleeve so that you don't hit it into, say, a customer's table and cause any problems with that. Good so B-roll. protective sleeve that comes with the paper Good video towel so folder. far. This is our snapper box. You can put this in many different places. I personally like it here. So by it being there, you can just snap your blades. Of course, your blades are going to go into this box. There's a magnet to hold it in there securely. But here is the multi-pouch. The multi-pouch can be set up many different ways. How we like to use it is a scrubby pad in the front, squeegee here, you can put your knives, alpha pack. If you use a stainless sprayer, the handle goes there very nicely. You can put squeegees here. The back of the pouch has some unique features as well. It has an open pouch and a pouch that closes with Velcro. The last feature that I love is we have carabiner spots throughout the belt. This one is used for your keys. So you're never gonna get to a job and forget your keys and lose them and waste time. Time is money, so this is gonna save you both time and money because your keys are always clipped to you. That's the concept of the Evolution Tool Belt. It saves you time, it saves you money, it makes you more efficient. You look like a pro, you're gonna act like a pro with draw tools. Not too bad of a video, except for the background music being absurdly loud. Besides that, everything else was freaking awesome.